It's your girl, The Grown Woman Gamer, and today we're coming at you with another fire commentary. But before I get into that, you know what you need to do. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, comment whether you agree with me or not, and don't forget to share if you care. All right, people. So today what we're talking about is the Phoenix Suns and whether or not I believe that they'll win a championship this year. Um, I'm going to be talking about a few of the other teams in the West that might contend with them and we'll figure out, you know, what we ultimately think will happen. So the Phoenix Suns have won more games than any other team in the NBA. They are a favorite in the West to win the West, but I wouldn't say that they are a dominant favorite. Um, there are other teams in the West that will give them a run for their money. Teams like Memphis. Memphis is in the number two spot, Golden State in the third spot. You can never count out Utah or Denver, and then Dallas is in the mix as well. And then there's some sleeper teams in teams like Minnesota um, and New Orleans. I wouldn't necessarily put the uh, Lakers on that list of sleeper teams. The Lakers are such a visible team, and they've been talked about probably more than any other team, even when they're not winning. And it just looks like in their current state, the Lakers are not likely to win against a number one or two seed in the first round, which is what they'd have to do if they were even able to make it out of the play-in tournament. And I've been watching them and it's looking like they will make it to the play-in tournament, but they really genuinely, seriously need Anthony Davis in order to have much success in the postseason. And if they prove me wrong, then I will be the happiest person on the planet because I would love to see LeBron James win. But just looking at the current state of affairs, it's not, I don't have like a massive amount of hope. Um, anyway, we'll move on again from that, talking about the Lakers. So Phoenix, Memphis, Golden State, they're at the top of the um, conference with Phoenix having already secured a playoff spot. And they're the only team in the West that has secured a playoff spot in Houston, I believe is um, eliminated from contention. And there are some teams below 10, but, and things could happen with that, but I think that's irrelevant when we're talking specifically about who's gonna win a championship. So I think that Phoenix will win unless certain things happen. So if DeAndre Ayton is no longer in play, it will get harder for them with every round of the playoffs to keep progressing. So I think a lot rides on DeAndre Ayton. I said last last year after watching them lose to the Bucks in the championship that as DeAndre Ayton goes, so go the Phoenix Suns. So yes, I know that Ayton is not really the leader of that team. Chris Paul is more of the leader of that team. But they need him in order to get past teams that have dominant centers. So imagine um, them going up against a team like Denver, for example, in a seven-game series, or Utah. Um, and Gobert, I think, Go I don't know if Gobert is in play, but supposing Gobert is healthy enough to play, they need Aiton to be their defensive presence in the paint. Um, because although they have a lot of shooting and they get it from odd places at times too, you'll have a game where Jay Crowder will score 30 points and be, you know, six of eight from behind the three point line. And of course, Devin Booker, who is a bucket, you know, he's, as long as he's playing, you know, he's going to be putting the ball in the hoop, but still defensively, I think Aiton is the core piece that they have. And he's a good rim defender. And if they're going up against a team like Minnesota again with Carl Anthony Towns, they need him. Because although he can sometimes get into foul trouble, um, and he's now he's sharing the load with JaVale McGee, it's, I mean, you, you need DeAndre Ayton. Let me just put it like that. Um, and then, I don't know. The other team that comes to mind immediately is Golden State. With Stephen Curry going down for a couple of weeks and that could some of that could be precautionary just to make sure that he's healthy in his his ankle and the his, his lower leg where he had sustained the injury when Marcus Smart dove into him the other night they might know that it's not as serious as they as it could be but given the timing of the actual injury and that we're less than 6 weeks out 5 weeks out from the playoffs 
they might be deciding let's just let him rest because then he can have fresh legs coming into the playoffs and the injury we don't exacerbate it by having him continue to play and as far as their placement they I don't think that Golden State is going to lose enough games in the next month to end up in the play-in tournament so and given again the competition it doesn't really matter as much as it does in the east where your placement is unless you're number one or two being number one or two is particularly being number one and potentially facing the lakers or the pelicans in the first round great but beyond that everyone else in the mix it's for golden state with a healthy stephen curry they don't they won't have any problems with whoever they face in the first or maybe even the second round um but I, I, if I were them, I would rather be in the number two spot um, because then I don't face Phoenix until the end. Because the only team I would truly be kind of afraid of if I was Golden State is Phoenix, um, especially if Aiden is healthy and playing well. So, yeah. But if Aiden is healthy and Chris Paul's playing back uh, on, on the floor now too, Booker is healthy and all their core supporting cast of characters is in place, there is absolutely no reason why the Phoenix Suns won't win the West. I don't see anybody else on this list that will dominate them. I just, I just don't, you know, I'm willing to stand on that. Um, So with those things in place, that's what I think it would take for them to win. Simple, easy. There's, there are other good teams. I, I would say my second choice would definitely be Golden State. A- again, provided that um, Stephen Curry is healthy and able to play. Um, <clears throat> and my third choice to win would be the Denver Nuggets. Um, Dallas is good, but there's some really serious defensive holes with Dallas. They have high scoring games. Luka Doncic is amazing, man. I watched him play the other night. It's beautiful basketball. He's so good at putting the basketball in the hoop. I mean, there is no other way to describe it. And he, he'll be off balance. He'll he'll be on one foot. And that ball goes in. And you cannot, you can't deny it. He's exceptional. Um, but Again, all the other people that he has around him, he's doing a a lot and carrying a heavy load in in the playoffs when they're scouting people more closely and really paying attention. My strategy with that team would just be just stop everybody else. I mean, let's not waste too much time trying to stop um, Luka because Luka's going to get off. He's going to get off in every game that he wants to get off in as long as he's not injured. Here and there, he might get... um, have some issues with a good defender but by and large he is getting what he wants on the basketball court but he cannot win a game by himself so be locked down um defensively tuned in to the other people keep them from scoring and putting in all these threes because he he sometimes will uh, find the, the shooter and it And they have a pretty decent team of shooters around him, especially if Hardaway is playing again. As long, but if you stop Luca, if he's getting 45 points, but the rest of the team you limit them to under 50 points in today's NBA, you can beat them. That would be my strategy. So it's hard for me to put them in a top position because the balance is not there on the team. I do not. Spencer Dinwiddie is great, but I just don't think that they have a a deep enough roster um, and a strong enough roster to win against Phoenix or Golden State or even maybe Memphis in a seven game series. With Memphis, to me, their Achilles heel is their youth. Yes, youth is an asset in athletics, but when we're talking about a seven game series, I've said it, other people have said it, this is chess, not checkers. So having a group of people that may not have had as much experience in the postseason, Um, when the tactical strategy that you have is more important than your ability to be fast up and down the court. Um, They're hungry. They want it. They're young. I don't doubt that they will give it their all and that it will, they'll have some success, but I just don't think that when we're talking game five, game six, game seven, I don't see it, but they can prove me wrong too. So I hear my picks just to recap. My number one choices are the Phoenix Suns. 
I think that they will win the West. My number two choice is definitely Golden State with a healthy um, Stephen Curry rested back on the floor with, um, you know, Clay Thompson back in the postseason again doing his thing. And my third choice would be the Denver Nuggets uh, with Nikola Jokic. I think he's playing amazing basketball, and those would be my top three teams. No surprise picks there. But I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. I tried to make a shorter video for y'all because in my last videos, I, I mean, I definitely rambled on here too, but I would, I'm going to try to keep it under 12 minutes unless it's something very special that I'm talking about. But I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Help your girl get to a thousand followers, a thousand subscribers. And I'm out. I will be back soon with another fire commentary. Everybody take care. Be safe. Stay blessed.